This video is going to be a little bit of a follow-up video to the one I made last night about the whole thing with Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And, uh, you know, yeah, last night I really, you know, criticized Donald Trump and his supporters because of the history of this guy. All right. But I want to once again reiterate the point that I'm not a fan of Joe Biden. All right. Um, the choices we have, uh, if it comes down to these two again, uh, I mean, is this really the best we can do as a country? I mean, seriously. And I don't understand why the Republicans want to keep supporting this guy, Donald Trump, when he has done so many terrible, terrible things and said so many terrible, terrible, terrible things. Um, and they continue to support this guy. He is arrogant. He is uh, just a greedy, uh, you know, full of just hate and anger, um, you know, and... Then we have Joe Biden, on the other hand, all right, who, all right, he's not, he's not full of hate and he's not full of anger, and, uh, but he has failed us because we have a major border crisis going on in this country, and Joe Biden uh, isn't doing enough to fix it. Um, this all started because Joe Biden, instead of doing what he should be doing on securing the border and not letting these people come into the country and you know they when they come in and run across the border they should be deported that's what should be happening but instead joe biden uh he claims he likes to call them asylum seekers but they are not asylum seekers uh they are illegals and that's one thing joe biden doesn't seem to understand uh they are illegals they're not they're criminals many of them are committing a lot of crime while here i mean you look at what's going on in new york city right now all right and this is all, that's Joe Biden's fault for not securing the border. But just because Joe Biden is terrible on the border doesn't mean that Donald Trump is a better alternative to what we have right now. All right. Donald Trump will, he wants to suspend the Constitution. He wants to, you know, grant himself diplomatic immunity when he becomes president from all these charges. He wants to be a dictator, basically. That's, that's, that to me, that's worse. I mean, they're both terrible options, but to me, that's worse. All right. So we have a lot of extremism going on, and uh, this is the problem. We have a lot of extremism going on in this country right now. We have the extreme right, and we have the extreme left, uh, and there's not enough people in the middle. Uh, there's not enough centrists going on. Both parties have been hijacked. The Republicans have been hijacked by Donald Trump, and the Democrats have been hijacked by, uh, well, I don't, I don't think it's hijacked by Joe Biden. I think a lot of it has to do with Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, this one right here, uh, the vice president, who is, um, you know, she's very, very much to the left. Uh, and I think she's she's running a lot of this stuff, in my own opinion. Joe Biden is an old man. He He's not he's just out of it, completely out of it. All right. And so she's doing a lot of this stuff. Uh, so you have the ultra liberal, the ultra limousine liberal left. And then you have the uh, the. Uh, autocratic, I don't know what the word is, um, uh, nationalist, extreme right uh, of Donald Trump. So there's not enough of, of in the middle going on, all right? And this whole thing with the border is just a mess right now. It's also disgraceful that, uh, that they are try trying to block other things too. But, you know, Donald Trump keeps saying we're gonna, we want to solve the border, and people are like, yeah, well, we're going to be just watching the video. People think Trump wants to secure the border. But if he wanted to really secure the border, then why is he trying to block the bill to fund the border? <laughs> you know, why is he and his, and his MAGA crew trying to block the funding? This is something Joe Biden supports. It, if, if, if the Republicans didn't block it, we would have had funding for the border. We would have had help to secure the border. Um, but the, a lot of it has to do with funding. And who's standing in the way of funding border security right now it's not joe biden it's donald trump and his people so this is what i was saying last night because when they killed that border bill that's that you know that i mean that border bill would have gotten us out of this mess so that's why i, I mean they're both horrible choices but donald trump is not the if you want to look for border security if he really cared about the people, like one of one viewers said, oh, he cares about the people. If he cared about the people, then why is he trying to block a bill to solve this crisis? 
<laughs> you know, I mean, really. Um, and look, Joe Biden has failed on a lot of stuff. You know, he's failed on a lot of stuff. He's been asleep at the wheel. I think he's made this country look very weak, especially in the eyes of, of, of people like Putin. All right. Um, Joe Biden is not a strong president, and I really wish the Democrats would consider having somebody else run instead of having Joe Biden. And the uh, same thing, likewise, for the Republicans. I wish they would, they would choose somebody other than Donald Trump. Uh, there are plenty of se- good centrists out there, people like uh, Larry Hogan, for instance, who was, uh, we put Larry Hogan here. Larry Hogan was mayor of, uh, was the former governor of Maryland, and I think he is a good centrist Republican uh, that would be very good as a president, all right? Um, you know, a very good candidate right now, um, you know, but he's not running, unfortunately. Um, you know, because, you know, people, you can't have the, the Democrats are getting hijacked by the extreme left. And we see it all the time. We see it all, all over the place in our cities right now, you know. Uh, we see it in New York now. Governor Hochul is trying to react to the crime, which I find kind of funny at this point. Um, you know, it's out of control. And then we have, Kermit, <clears throat> excuse me, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, one of the worst mayors because he's crying about the mi- He said in a quote, this crisis will destroy New York City with the migrants, or should I say illegals? And he was right about that. But yet he's allowing it to happen. Turn them away, man. Send the buses back. Why are you, al- why are you giving the illegals all these hotel rooms and, and, and this food and, 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 and even like debit cards? They're even getting debit cards. You know, they shouldn't get anything. This is even worse than before because, you know, before you had the illegals cross the border and they work as day laborers. At least they're working. But now they're getting all the benefits that are supposed to go to low-income citizens and people with disabilities, people like me. They're getting, they're stealing from us. And Eric Adams is allowing it. Uh, And the governor, Hochul, isn't doing anything about it. Uh, You know, governors should step in and say, you know what? No, we're not a sanctuary state. I'm going to say New York City needs to turn away the illegals. And the state needs to send in the National Guard. If the, if, the, if the city council and the mayor don't want to restore law and order, then the state needs to do it. But she's not going to do that. So this is the problem we have. We have a big crisis going on. All right? So you have the left failing uh, on this. And this is because the, you have these limousine liberals. Kathy Ockel is a limousine liberal. She's not a Democrat and not the kind of Democrat I like, not the kind of Democrat I support. She's the kind of Democrat I can't stand, actually. All right. So uh, and she's trying to say she's a centrist. Give me a break. It's so obvious, you know, that her and her and Trump, they also they're all, and Joe Biden, too. They're all with Wall Street, man. All of them. All right. Um, you know, and then we get to our county executive, Bruce Blakeman, who, uh, you know, you know, considers himself a MAGA Republican. Um, yet he hasn't done a damn thing about keeping the illegals out of Nassau County because they're taking over the central part of the county, but he doesn't care about the central part of the county. He only cares about the South Shore. That's all he cares about is the South Shore. When you see any posts on his... Today, he was saying he was in Long Beach and a polar bear swim. I mean, this guy's all over the South Shore, but he doesn't care about the mill. He doesn't care. He's arrogant. He's the typical arrogant personality I cannot stand. And one thing that... If there's anything that turns me off in a politician, it's people who are arrogant. And he came across as arrogant... In the election, which is why I voted for Laura Curran, all right? And Donald Trump, well, he came across as arrogant as well, which was why I didn't vote for him. Joe Biden wasn't arrogant. Maybe a feeble old man, but he wasn't arrogant. Arrogance turns me off, all right? Well, that's the bottom line. Arrogance turns me off. I don't like it, all right? And Trump's arrogant. Hochul's arrogant. Eric Adams is arrogant, too. You know, Bruce Blakeman is arrogant. So that's why I don't like either of them. I just look at the individual. I'm not somebody who goes by the party line. All right? And then we get to the kind of people that we need in office, the kind of people that are, are good governors and good executives, people like Governor Phil Murphy, who, who's done tirelessly, you know, he's done such a good job for the people of New Jersey, you know, looking out for their needs, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, trying to, you know, stop this congestion pricing thing going on, uh, you know, protecting the Pine Barrens, doing his best for transit. Unfortunately, a fair hike was inevitable. Um, 
You know, he did his best to, you know, keep it from happening, unlike here in New York, you know. Um, you know, he's been an excellent governor. He's a good centrist Democrat, supports law and order, all right. Um, and he said no to the illegals. He said, no, no, they're not coming to New Jersey. He, you know, I mean, you know, everybody knows that Kermit's going to just, you know, open the door to them and give them everything they want. So, you know, he's a pushover. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, a, a welcome mat. Uh, you know, he has no backbone. He's not going to say no to this. Uh, you know, everybody knows it. Democrats and Republicans know it. And they exactly got illegals coming. Put them in New York City. You know, because New York City, even though New York City is overflowing with them, they just want to keep getting more of them. It's unbelievable. They don't want to turn them away. It's unbelievable, this city. It's up to the people in New York City to change their city and to throw these people out. And, and as bad as Eric Adams is, the city council is even worse. It's unbelievable. New York City is going to turn into the next San Francisco with these kind of policies. Um, so, And we get to the people like that I like, getting back to the people I like. People like Ed Romaine also, a Republican. All right. You know, it's funny. I click on the site. It doesn't even have, he doesn't even want to have his picture on the site. He took his he doesn't want the county executive's name on anything. He's the complete opposite of Bruce Blakeman. Very he seems to be very. Uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Very uh, humble, humble. Ed Romaine is humble, very humble, uh, very humble, very humble guy. And I think he'll be a very good county executive for Suffolk County as, as a Republican. So, you know, I like I like centrist Republicans and centrist Democrats. All right. And the Democrat I like, centrist Democrat that was recently elected, was Tom Suozzi. I think I'm, gl I'm so glad he's. But he should have been our governor. He should have been our governor. But Wall Street put their money behind Hochul because Tom Suozzi doesn't play on the Wall Street team. He looks out for everybody. He doesn't really care about the party line. You know, he does what he thinks is right for the people. All right, uh, and uh, that's why I'm glad he he won. All right, um, so let's spend my little opinion on all this. All right, uh, so. There's a follow-up again to the video I made last night, all right, uh, that, um, and you see a lot of people, Democrats should heed Suozzi's warning. Suozzi wants that Democratic Party to, he wants the centrists to be in charge, and these these liberals, these far leftists need to be, uh, need to, you know, be, we need to move away from that, all right? Um, so um, that's the thing. Um, so we need the moderates. We need the moderates in charge of this country. We've had way too much extremism going on. It hasn't benefited anyone. Um, they're sitting there arguing about the border, Joe Biden and, and Trump uh, arguing about the border. Uh, and meanwhile, we have illegals streaming into the country. That's why I like Tom Suozzi. All right. Uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to just put the let's fix this because I, that is the number one thing that I love about this let's fix this let's fix this he wants to fix this he wants to solve the problems instead of arguing and, and, and playing politics he wants to fix the problems of this country and this is the kind of mentality we need in our government so thank you for watching and i know i'll probably never change the minds of those loyal trumpers out there but um i wanted to once again clear get my point across about how i feel about uh, this whole thing and the direction this country is going in. We need centrists, and we need them badly. Uh, we need those moderates and centrists and people who are willing to solve the issues for the people instead of playing politics. Uh, so thank you for watching.